Good evening, everyone. It is November 23rd of 2020. God bless you all. I hope you're doing and you're doing well on this wonderful evening tonight and you are blessed in your homes in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So I wanted to come back on tonight. I have some very important information I must deliver and our Heavenly Father Jehovah who sits on his throne in heaven is instructing me that I must be obedient to him and good Lord and Savior. Um, it's important that, um, as you know, one of the commandments says, love thy God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength. And then the second um, greatest commandment is love thy neighbor as thyself. So because I must be obedient to our Heavenly Father, this is why I must deliver this message because because I love you all very much that are following um, the specific person I'm about to speak on. And I'm sure by now you see the title of this video. Um, this is um, pertaining to Dory Love. And his name is spelled, first name spelled D-O-R-R-E, last name Love, L-O-V-E. That is the title of his, of his YouTube channel. And I... I'm coming on because our Heavenly Father was dealing with me on November 13th of 2020. And he he was strongly dealing with me to the point where I was, my, my eyes started to tear up. And I knew it's because I knew that I have to warn the sheep. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I... I want to share with you is let me just give you some scripture and then I'll give you the details regarding the reason why I must I'm, I'm bringing this warning to your attention and before I even get started um, Dory uh, if you're hearing this um, this this is because I love you and I'm and I'm speaking within truth with truth and love because I love you dearly to tell you that you're going to need to repent of what of the things that you're doing and I'm gonna go into detail about those things but I'm coming on here because I love you dearly and I want you to 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 turn away from the wicked and evilness that you're in right now and and I know you know what it is of but I'm just coming here in truth and love because I love you enough to tell you and so much to tell you that I love you and I, it's very important that you please repent. You must repent, 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 repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. So I'm going to start with second Timothy, and this is chapter four. And before I get started, as you know, body of Christ, it's not ever easy for anyone to come on and when i say anyone i'm i'm speaking with humility as a child of god as one filled with the holy spirit with humility i say that so you can understand that i'm speaking in truth because the holy spirit does reside in me and the Sp holy spirit is of truth and comfort and i must say this with boldness and confidence so that you know that i am a child of god and i'm and i'm here to bring you nothing but only the truth and so that you know this and the reason why I'm saying this is because I must bring this information I'm about to share with you um, to your attention and when I say to your attention as in children of God or those that are currently listening um, to 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 Dory love it's important that I bring this to your attention to be aware of of the warning that I'm about to share so the first thing I'm going to start with is 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. So again, 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1. I'm going to begin by reading. In my New King's James Bible version, it's titled Preach the Word. Verse 1 starts, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at the appearing of his kingdom. Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because... They have itching ears. They will heap up themselves teachers 
and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned away to fables. And I'm going to stop there. Now I'm going to go to 2 Timothy chapter 2 and I'm going to start with first let's see here I'm just going to go ahead and start with um actually excuse me I'm going to start um 2 Timothy chapter 3 and that is titled, titled dangerous times are coming starting verse 1 but know this that in the last days perilous times will come for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, des despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of of godliness but denying its power and from such people turn away so but dory specifically when it comes to this chapter um, ch um second timothy chapter three in my bible new king's James bible is titled dangerous times are coming it's titled again dangerous times are coming and we are in the end times so I, I want to make it clear that with Dora, when I was reading this chapter, and this is what the Lord had brought to my attention as well in this chapter, I, um, with with Dory specifically, it's it's the the ones that were drawing to my attention were in verse two. It says, "For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers." I'm going to jump down to another verse, verse four, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying its power from such people turn away. Now I'm going to explain to you the reason why I'm on tonight to warn regarding Dory Love and my my hope is that he repents that he submits himself to our Heavenly Father because in in Romans you will find um, in God's Word it says in Romans that submit yourself to God and even prior to that it says God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble Submit yourself to God. Submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So Dory, this is the time where you're going to need to humble yourself before Heavenly Father and repent of the evil deeds that you're doing. The, 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 the spirit that is not of the Holy Spirit, that is not in right reciting in you at this time. As the, at the time that I speak of, it is not residing you at this moment, at this time. You're going to submit yourself to the to our Heavenly Father. For again, God says, God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you and you will find this in Romans. Dory love you're going to have to submit yourself to our heavenly father and humble yourself and I'm keep repeating this because in the videos I'm about to go over with you there's there's I see a spirit that is not of our heavenly father this is not the holy spirit that I was seeing in you in, in two of these videos I'm, I'm about to share and discuss this was not the, the Holy Spirit. And my heart broke when I saw this. And that's why on November 13th of 2020, the Heavenly Father was dealing with me even till today. I'm recording this video, video very late tonight because the Holy Spirit's been dealing with me to get, to get on and I've had to spend time to make sure that I'm delivering, delivering this message correctly to everyone because of the extreme importance of this 
and this breaks my heart. This is never easy, ever easy for any child of God to come in and, and having to have to rebuke um, another, an, another one. But it's we must rebuke because that's what we're called to do. We must re, re, rebuke, reprove, and exhort, and convince, and bring correction. And this is important. And this is what God calls us to do. Because this is about saving the sheep and get, getting people saved. Getting making sure people have salvation because sal we will have salvation it is by god's grace through faith in jesus christ will we have salvation it's a free gift from our heavenly father but and jesus christ says i'm the only way the truth and the life and no one comes to the father but by me so now I'm going to jump into the reason why I must warn the sheep and even those that are unsaved that are cur currently following um, Dory and listening to his his, his preaching. I, you know, Dory Love is he's a street street preacher and then he's re recently been doing live streamings and and he's he's very knowledgeable. But it broke my heart to see in a, a couple videos, and this was uh, the Holy Spirit leading me to these vi videos and and bringing, placing to me specifically within those videos, bringing to my attention. Because it's not like me to to have to go into so um, look, looking at the different seconds within the video, and that was only by the Holy Spirit. So with humility, this is nothing of myself. This is just our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ who abide in me, working within me to deliver what I'm about to deliver. It has nothing to do with myself and it's all by the blessed working hand and strength and wisdom and knowledge and understanding of our Heavenly Father working in me. For God says the, be the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom and the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. And in God's Word it also says, Oh, it's it's some the beautiful words I'm about to share with, with you. He in God's word it says, and you'll find this um, in in um, in Romans as well. He he says, "Oh, the depths of the wisdom of the knowledge of God! How unsearchable are His judgments and His ways past finding out." Amen. Amen. So, the first video that. Um, that the Lord clearly just drove straight to my attention was the video that is called Unplanned Parenthood. And that one was uh, was live streamed on October 14th of 2020. So according to YouTube, um, that's what it says. Um, so again, if you look for the video that's called, that Dorley Love made, and it's called, it's titled Unplanned Parenthood. And it was live streamed on October 14th of 2020. I'm, I'm going to share some um, from some disturbing information here. But this is the truth because you yourself can look in research this yourself. So that way you're not just taking my word. You can see your for yourself. And I, and I most definitely want you to look into this yourself. That way your eyes can see for yourself and the whole, and if you're a child of God and meaning that you know that you've been saved, you've been born again, you are, or your obedience to our heavenly father, you're living holy to our heavenly father, you're obedient, you're holy, you're righteous because you are the righteousness of God in Christ. Amen. Amen. You are the righteousness of God in Christ. So if you are saved, you've been born again, you are not, you're, you've, you've done away with the old man and now you are a new creation in Christ. You have repentant for you will find in Acts that says, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of your sins. So you can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And as a, as a child of God, you are following our Heavenly Father's judgments, statutes, and commandments. And you've been saved. And I speak this clearly to the children of God. 
it's important that you you don't you don't fall away because there are many out there that are that are are imposters and the lord is bringing me to read this scripture before i jump into what i want to say so i'm going to read second timothy chapter 3 and i'm going to start on verse 13 but evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse deceiving and being deceived but you must continue in the things which you have learned and be assured of them knowing from whom you learn them and that from childhood you have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. All scripture is given in inspiration of God and, in, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. So I'm going to and and this is spe and I'm going to go back to one part of the a verse that's speaking specifically about Dory. Second Timothy chapter three, verse thirteen says, "But evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived." And I'm repeating this verse right now to you because this is what I was with this is what I was seeing in the first video I'm about to share with you so again back to the unplanned parenthood video the Dory love made the what the Lord this is not like like me to have to literally stop video and see seconds within seconds but the only reason why I started that is, and, and I'm going to back up a little bit with humility. I have to t thank all those um, that were, that whoever had commented prior to this video being made. And that, and the only reason why it really even also grabbed my attention was our Heavenly Father was letting me know that there are others out there that have, have, have seen, have witnessed that jp and that's the other gentleman that's um that's in partner with um Do dory love jp you'll see him on the unplanned parenthood video at this it, people have met made mention that he was throwing up the 666 sign and when i heard that i was thinking like oh wait what's going on and sure sure enough they they, they were right i mean i was seeing it within this unplanned parenthood video um, of, of Dory Love and I, I was seeing it seen that quite a bit with with um with JP and oh yes he did mention that that that's not what he was throwing up but it was it's very clear that that's what he's throwing up you can see them it's it, there's a difference between you can you'll know when someone is just just talking but then someone that's continuously making those hand signs it's you can see now this is where the spirit of this sermon comes in and again i've shared with you in other videos with humility i say that our heavenly father has given me the gift to discern spirits there is a spirit behind these two and i say these two as in dory love and jp now i'm going to go into detail so it's this is where you're going to have to be, be patient and take the time to literally you're going to have to be literally pausing the video because Dory Love it is and JP are very strategic about what they're doing. And when I and that is right why, why I read that um, second Timothy to you, chapter three of verse 13, that you are dealing with evil men and imposters here. Now, I'm going to explain why. If you go, go, there's going to be some times you're going to have to go to. So. One of the times, if you go to the time at, tw let's see, 2218, Dory Love, and so that's, is at the, the 20, the 22 minute mark and 18 seconds. That's where you're going to need to go to. So 2218. 
Dory Love was being very st strategic about how he was placing his hand, his hand on his glasses. So when you get to that 2218 mark, you're going to see that he's literally placing his hand, putting his hands up to his glasses that he wears on his face. But as he's doing this, he's doing the devil horns. Now, I'm not, if I'm going to, when I'm saying these things, it's not just to say it and just, just to say buzz because, oh, that's just what I saw. I dealt the, the Holy, when I first saw this, let me tell you, the Holy Spirit was within me was not happy. I, I mean, this was, this was, this was righteous anger that I was, I was, I was dealing with, with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was really telling me that look at what is going on when my eyes saw this for the first time unbelievable this this really broke my heart it broke my heart to see what i was seeing because dory love is was being very st strategic about how he he was placing his hand you'll see this again you'll go to the 22 18 mark and his hand is being, he's putting his hand up to his glasses that he has on his face. And as he's putting his hand up as if he's fixing his glasses, that's what he's making it look like. That's why he's being strategic. And, he, he, and, and, and this is where he's, there's, this is where um, the, in, being an imposter comes in. And, and, he's, and the evil spirit within him is working because he knows what he's doing. He's making it look like he's fixing his glasses, but he's actually doing the devil horns. See, he can't make it like obvious because you all will find out. Most people are just too busy paying attention to JP doing his six, six signs and being obvious. But then Dory Love, I, the Holy Spirit was dealing with me and saying, pay attention to Dory Love. And this is why my heart broke when I actually realized this and noticed it for the first time like oh he dory is really he is purposely he he planned this very well and you then you and you'd have to slow down the video that's the thing i'm going to give you different times it's not one time that way you can see all the different times that these things are going on and then you can you can go to our heavenly father as you should you'll go to the heavenly with with humility please go to our heavenly father and and have him tell you the truth about who is dory love who is jp especially who is dory love heavenly father that is what you will have to ask him in truth You'll have to humble yourself because if you want the truth, the, our Heavenly Father knows a contrite heart. He knows you, the, your, your true heart, the attentions of your heart. So if you want the truth, the full truth and nothing but the truth, you will need to seek our Heavenly Father. And he will reveal to you who Dory Love truly is if you want the truth. Amen. Amen. So yes, at that 2218 mark, again, he was he made it he was making it look like he was fixing his glasses, but he was really putting his hands up doing the devil signs and you will see that at the 2218 mark. And then he, he was doing actually, excuse me, not the devil as in the devil horns cuz I saw it at the 2218 mark, you can see that he's doing the devil horns. And as he's doing the devil horns, JP is starting to do the six, you know, the, the 666 sign with, with the hand, like makes it look like, okay. You notice JP's doing, he was, is doing that quite a bit in his video. He's like that, that looks like the okay sign, but it's, it's the 666 sign. He's so again, this is, these two know, they both know what they're doing. I want to make sure you understand that they're very, they plant this very strategically. Again, at the 2218 mark, as Dory is doing the devil horn signs, as in he's pretending to fix his glasses, but he's really doing the devil horns. You will see that. As he's doing that, JP was starting to do the six sign at the start of it as Dory is doing that, that, that devil horns. And you could see right into that then, you can see the full six six sign that that JP's doing and it's important that you look at their eyes as they're both doing this at the same time now you ask yourself this question okay let's say Dory was just doing it himself 
Is it a coincidence that Dory is doing the devil horns while JP is doing the 666 sign? 666 sign. Ask yourself this question. Why would Dory Love be doing the devil horns at the 2218 mark? And then as he's doing it, JP is doing the 666 sign. Not a coincidence, you all. Now I have more times to give you if you if that way I don't you want you to think that, oh, that's not enough that that could have just happened because nothing is a coincidence. This was planned. And the reason why I know it's planned is look at their eyes. There's they're both giving themselves eye language. They both know that they plan this. They know when they're doing these things because they they, they purposely did then did it at the same time. And this is the devil working within them. This, this is why I'm telling you that they're imposters. These are imposters and, e and, and, and evil men. This is not the Holy Spirit. And look at their eyes because they are giving themselves each other eye language as they're doing these satanic signs. I want you to know this. Also, there's another period. And at the 2214 mark, so the 2214 mark, um, again, Dory Love was doing the devil, the, the devil horns. And again, as in pretending to fix his glasses, he was doing the devil horns at the 2214 mark. So the 2214 mark obviously is before the 2218 mark. So he's do he, he's, he's, you, now, you know, he's done this more than once. And again, at the 2214 mark, when Dory Love was doing, was, um, doing the devil horns, at pretending as if he was fixing these glasses and doing the devil horns, um, um, JP was starting to ready his hand to do the six 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 sign, and you will you'll you'll see this. You will see this for yourself. Then, if you start, if you look between the twenty two and four mark to the twenty two twenty two mark, so the the twenty two minute and four second mark to the 22 and 22 second mark this is the span where you're going to see when, where all this is going on and that's where you're going to see the devil horns with while dory dory's talking while he's doing the devil horns and talking about um the the son the, the son of man and you will literally see dory love doing doing the devil horns now can you again ask yourself this question why is it when Dory Love is talking about that about Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, the Son of God? Why is he talking about the Son of Man and then doing the devil horns? Not a coincidence. There's no such thing as a coincidence on this earth. Everything is planned and purposeful. And this was planned. So that's why I'm just bringing you more more showing you more more areas within this 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 video that dory made with jp that way you can see for yourself that whoa something's going on here why why what's going on with all the devil horns and all the six sixes it's enough that jp is just very obvious when he's doing it but then you're, then there's Dory Love. Oh, Dory Love is doing something himself. And again, as you're do, as they're doing these, look at their eyes. Look at Dory Love's eyes. And this is what also breaks my heart that, because as he's doing the, the devil horns, you, I can see that it's planned. The Holy Spirit within me is showing me that in his eyes, you know, the eyes are the window to the soul. It's, he, the Holy Spirit is showing me that Dory Love is working through a different spirit, and it's not of the Holy Spirit. It's not of our Heavenly Father. It's not of the Holy Spirit from our Heavenly Father. This is from the devil himself. And I'm saying this because before I had to record this video, I needed to be very clear to know, get confirmation from our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ that this is what it is before I just come on and say this. Because Dory Love has a, has, has, has a big following, and he's 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 very liked in 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 the people that follow him. But unfortunately, we are in the end times where there that the people are going to be deceived by these imposters and evil men. 
having a form of, of godliness, but the, but the truth is not within them. Not the truth of our Heavenly Father. The truth of our Heavenly Father is not within them. Having a form of godliness, but denying its power. And that again, you will find in 2 Timothy chapter 3. And that is verse, let's see here. Denying its power. There we go, verse 5. So 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5 again reads, Having a form of godliness, but denying its power, and from such people turn away. I'm coming on to you, to you brothers and sisters in Christ, my brethren, and, and those unbelievers that are still trying to make a decision. These are not the people you are to be following. I'm, I'm, my, it breaks my heart to have to tell you this, but I must be obedient to our Heavenly Father. And because I love you, I there's no way I could sit aside and let this go on and not speak. We are called to rebu rebuke those that are not of our Heavenly Father with the hope that they submit to, the, to our Heavenly Father and repent of their sins and come back to their first love and our first love is jesus christ amen amen back to the unplanned parenthood video that dory love made with jp so the other time period that you'll want to see is the 23 minute and three second mark this again it's the 23 minute and three second mark dory love is you'll see him sitting up from his chair when jp is literally doing the 666 sign i'm saying this to you because the, you'll you'll what you'll need to watch their mannerisms especially watch dory's mannerisms you'll notice that dory is moving quite a bit in this video like he's fidgety i was wondering about that because the holy spirit was dealing with me saying like What's what's going on with Dory Love? What why is he not sitting still? But I then our Heavenly Father is has gave, gave me gave me an understanding that well he's doing these things because he's got to be distracting of what he's trying to do as in to be deceptive not not he doesn't want you to see what he and JP are doing as they're doing throwing up their six 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 or devil horn signs they're satanic signs so they have to be strategic and again pay attention to how they are looking at looking within the camera you can see that they're looking at themselves and look at just look at dory and dory it, it, my, my spirit it my spirit is very bothered to see how that the eve the evilness within dory's face this is someone that knows that he is deceiving the flock. He knows he's in, his intention is to deceive the flock. He's very good with the scriptures. He, he very, very good. I mean, that's one thing I can, we, it's very clear. He's very good with the scriptures, but he knows he's, he's right now, he's, he's grabbing you, grabbing everyone in. And then when he's ready to do what he has to do, the surprise is going to be there. And many, and when it when the time comes, many will be deceived. And I will give you some scripture to back up what I just said. So, yes, at the 23 and 3 second mark, the 23 and the 3 second mark, you'll see Dory sitting up from his chair. And as he's sitting up from his chair, he he just looked very to he to me, it was it it it, it to me it looked like um, there's um, some uncomfortableness. That's what I was seeing in the spirit that the, he's not the, there's no comfort in what he's doing. He, he he looks very disturbed, and I could uh, I understood why like oh he's being very distracting because he can't make it obvious to do what what he wants to do or what JP is going to do. So he has to make it look like he's just, he's, he's just moving around, but it's, I could see in the spirit that he's, he's very, he's very disturbed. 
and look at the, his facial expressions, his mannerisms as he's moving, as he's doing these things. Pay very close attention. This is what the Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ are telling me right now to make sure I tell you. Look at their facial expressions as they are doing these things, especially Dory Love. Look at his facial expressions as he's doing the devil horns. You will see that when he does each devil horn, he's looking... He's looking very evil. The evil spirit, you will see the evil spirit behind the eyes. And if you're not able to see it, this is where you're going. Again, you're going to ask, seek our Heavenly Father in humility and ask him to please give you the gift of discerning spirits. Because we are in the end times. These are, we, we're, we're, in, we're in end times now. We are in the times, these are perilous times that we're in, where people are deceiving and being deceived. So the next mark I'm going to tell you about within that Unplanned Parenthood, Parenthood video of Dory Love is you're going to look at the 25, 20, the 25 and 28 mark. And you're going to go to the 25 and 30 second and 31 second mark. So again, the 25, 28 mark to the 25 and 31 second mark. And that is where you're going to see a full 66 sign uh, from JP. And the reason why I'm mentioning that again is just look at his expression um, when you, when, when he's doing that, because JP is just very intentional. You know, it, it breaks my heart that these people are literally mocking our Heavenly Father. They are literally both mocking our Heavenly Father. I mean, when you are speaking of our good Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and, and speaking of Dory, and you're throwing up devil horns, and you're saying, you're talking about the Son of Man, the Son of God, and you're throwing up devil horns, you are, you are mocking our good Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You're going to have to give an account of this when judgment day comes. This is why it's important that you repent. You and JP repent of these, these evil things that you are both doing to deceive the flock, to deceive those, even the unbelievers that are just coming to or thinking that you, you are children of God when you're not. You're, you're, you're a child of the devil. Your father is the devil, Satan. Lucifer. That's who your father is, is the devil, Satan himself. You are both children of disobedience, not children of obedience. And and I'm 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 telling you with urgency that you you must repent. Repent, repent, repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. The other mark I want you all to pay attention to is the twenty-two and six second mark where Dory was talking about, um, he was saying the verbiage of, and I, I don't have the exact words in detail, but you'll know the gist of it. He was saying that you don't know, um, you don't know what the Holy, um, what Holy Spirit you're, you're of when he was talking about, um, you don't know what the Holy Spirit that you're working of or of that you're of. And that was at the 22 and six second mark. Now, as he was saying this, look at JP's facial expressions. You will see JP was bogged, was not, was being this, was, what's the word I'm looking for? He, the way he was, his eyes, you, you pay attention to his eyes. Cause Dory Love was saying, speaking of like, don't you know what's, do you not know the spirit that you're, you're working off? And as he was saying that, JP's eyes and his and his mouth, the way he he was his expressions on his face, he looked like it bothered him, but he didn't want it to he he doesn't want you to catch that. But I caught it. You'll you'll you're gonna see it in the video where he kinda makes this expression on his face like he knew that he knows that his spirit is not is not of is not of our heavenly father because when dory said that made that statement it actually it's the the spirit within him was was disturbed was actually bothered and see the the our heavenly father is going to expose darkness and that was exposed and i saw that i caught that 
And that's one, one of the other areas I want you to all pay attention. So again, that is at the 22 and six second mark. So another video for you to pay attention to is the video that's titled, that Dory made that's titled, Allah's life doesn't matter. And it's with a question mark. So you'll find that video again, it's titled, Dory Love titled it as, Allah's life doesn't matter, question mark couple areas in that video where he also was throwing up the devil horns again i want to thank all those that also have have caught these things to us as well and 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 i'm, I'm blessed and thankful that that you have also edified me as well because some of you I, I saw some of your comments you know within within this video because i saw actually i i the lord brought this to my attention at first and i wanted to see in the in the comments that did anyone else see this did, did, did our heavenly father re, re, reveal this to others sure enough i mean it, it breaks my heart there's so many comments but there's the few the very few that the, the the and i'm saying like a handful out of the all the other comments on that video there's a handful maybe a handful or less that saw that 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 really caught caught what i caught too and it 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 edified me i'm, I'm blessed and thankful that you, you, there are those of you the very few that know this and it brings me back to a scripture for god's and god's word it said for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and many go by it and narrow is the gate and difficult is the way that leads to life and few will find it uh, thank you heavenly father and thank you jesus christ for this this reminder of this scripture and i'm telling you about this you all about this because not many will be saved that is the unfortunate unfortunate truth so I'm bring, that's why I want to bring you this to your attention because there is going to be a great falling away. There will be a great falling away. But my hope is that you take heed to this message, to this warning, because this is very serious. And this is with the hope that you, you turn away from these, these, these evil men and you, you find Christ, you follow Jesus. Yes, Dory has mentioned in this video, or possibly more than one video, I've at least heard in one video where he said, follow Jesus. Don't follow me, follow Jesus. Absolutely correct. But then again, the devil knows God's words. He knows how to deceive, to get you comfortable with, with what he says and does to where you think you have to believe in. Remember, if you go again back to... To, to Timothy, that title of chapter 2 Timothy chapter 3 says, Dangerous times are coming. Verse 13 says, But evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So please take heed to this warning in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So back to the video, the Allah's, the one that's titled Allah's Life Does Not Doesn't Matter. <laughs> I'm going to have to just, I'm going to have to be obedient. You'll look at the 2 minute and 11 second mark. You're going to see several devil horns that Dory Love was throwing up. And also as he's throwing these up, he has evil facial expressions. And it's enough that he's going to throw up the devil horns. But you're going to have to ask yourself, look, when you, when you see this for yourself, look at his face and see the the evil within 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 his face look at the eyes the windows to the soul see see what the holy spirit wants you to see see what our heavenly father is is wants you to see he's bringing the darkness he's exposing the darkness he's showing us and it broke my heart to see that oh my goodness heavenly father this is a man that has the devil within him, not the Holy Spirit. Because as he's throwing up that devil horn and he's, and he's speaking about the Almighty and the evilness within his face, you'll see that his face, he's looking at the, the, the gentleman that was, I, I, I believe the gentleman was a Muslim. I may be wrong, but he, the gentleman was speaking to Dory at that time. And Dory was looking either at that gentleman or towards his direction. And the gentleman was looking away 
as Dory was doing the devil horns and the evilness within Dory's face. It broke my heart to see that. <sighs> Heavenly Father, I mean, when I saw this, I my heart broke and my the Holy Spirit within me, in me was very bothered about this. Very bothered about what I was seeing. And a lot of people are not going to catch this because he's, again, Dory Love is very, the devil is really working in him because Dory Love is very strategic about how he does it. You're not going to see it. You may, most people are not going to see the dev, the way he's throwing up the devil horns because he, he's got it all planned out. He knows when he's doing it, but you're going to, again, have to ask yourself this question. Why is Dory Love throwing up the devil horns when he's talking about the almighty? Why is there an evil evil look on his face wicked evil with on his face look at the the, the evilness within within it within him exuding out of him and all it's showing on his face that this the that this this the spirit of the devil is what's coming is showing within him that can be hidden and when you have when you can discern spirits you can you'll be able to see it so that's a question you're not to ask yourself is why is this happening nope again there's no such thing as a coincidence it's happening because that's the devil working through him not the holy spirit why is why is it that at the time that that muslim man that was speaking to dory love again my apologies i don't know if the guy's actually a muslim they that was just what the topic the topic had to do with um um is the the is 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 Jesus God that was what the topic was centering around and the and Dory and as the gentleman again was looking away Dory was throwing up his his six six signs looking in the gentleman's direction see the devil is so evil and wicked that he doesn't want that man to see what Dory Love is doing so the spirit the evil spirit working within here here's the thing it's either Dory Love is is possessed. He's clearly possessed with the spirit of the devil. Let's, it's very clear. This, and it's either he's possessed with the demon or the devil himself is literally working through him. But of course, all things, all evil things come from the devil. I, I just can't tell you personally if it's actually a demon itself within Dory Love or just that evil, the evil spirit of the devil just working through him. Either way, this is all from the devil. And again, Take heed to this warning. You must you must depart from him because this is not of the Holy Spirit. I'm I'm pleading with you with urgency. Depart from him, from Dory Love, because this is not the Holy Spirit working in him. The other thing I wanted to mention to you within this Allah Allah's Life Doesn't Matter video that he made uh, was also look at the 20 excuse me, the two minute, four second mark to the two minute and 12 second mark. Again, you're going to see that's in, that's the, that little window is where you're going to see the horn, the devil horns that Dory Love is doing. So again, the two minute, four second mark to the two minute and 12 second mark, Dory's doing some de devil horns there. You're going to see that yourself. And let's see here that is it for that so i that i wanted to just give you give you um some some confirmations of me just not seeing it but i wanted to give you minute minutes to seconds that way you can research this for yourself and if you truly want to be following jesus christ we don't follow man we follow jesus for jesus says deny yourself pick up your cross and follow me if deny yourself pick up your cross and follow me follow jesus have a per, your own personal relationship with our heavenly father and you 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 walk in the image of of jesus christ always be walking in the image of jesus christ you follow only jesus you follow no man you follow jesus it's we are in the end times right now where i i'm i it breaks my heart I'm, I'm it really breaks my heart that people are out there to intentionally wanting you to be dis, wanting to deceive you that way you will not 
earn your, you will not have an inheritance in heaven. You will not have an inheritance in, the emblem, in heaven. That is the end goal of the devil. He knows his time is short and he knows that he's going to be in hell. He's going to be in hell and be burning in the, in the, lake, for, in the lake of fire that burns with fire and brimstone where the worm never dies and the fire's never quenched. That's where he's going to be. So he wants to bring you down with him and he's going to deceive, deceive to the, you weren't, a lot of people won't see it. And I'm going to now, now jump into some, some scripture to tie into, to bring to, with the, with the hope that it will edify you. So some scripture to, to tie into, um, what I've just shared with you tonight. So I want to start with Acts. Acts 20, 28. So 20, I'm going to go to Acts chapter 20 and start with 28. And I'm going to read. Therefore, take heed to yourselves and to all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to shepherd the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. For I noticed that I for I know this that after my departure savage wolves will come in among you not sparing the flock Also from among yourselves men will rise up speaking perverse things to draw away the disciples after themselves Therefore watch and remember that for 3 years I did not cease to warn I did not cease to warn everyone night and day with tears. And I'm reading the scripture to you because again, on November 13th of 2020, a heavenly father was dealing with me to the point where I was beginning to be in tears. My heart was, was broken that Dory Love has is choosing to follow the devil, not our heavenly father and not Jesus Christ. He's choosing, choosing to be a son of disobedience, a son of the devil. He's choosing for his father to be the devil. It breaks my heart that he does not want, he's not a son of God. He's not a child of God and our God as in Jehovah. Dory Love preaches a different Jesus. He preaches a different Jesus, and I'm going to give you more scripture pertaining to that part. So the reason why I'm speaking to you about Acts 20, Acts chapter 20 and verse 28, um, um, starting at verse 28 that I read on, was because the Holy Spirit wants me to attend to the sheep, to care for the sheep, to feed the sheep. This is what the Holy Spirit placed on my heart. He said, feed the sheep. And with humility, I say this because I love you. I care for you so much that I want you to be saved with the hope that you be saved and you take heed to this warning. I'm going to now go to Peter chapter 5. Bear with me here. All right, so First Peter chapter five. I'm going to read one um, verses one through eleven, and it starts: The elders who are among you, I exhort. I am a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that will be revealed. Shepherd the flock of God which is among you, serving as overseers, not by compulsion but willingly. Not for dishonest gain, but eagerly. Very important that I read that verse two to you because it's important that I that I'm here to care for to to care for the sheep. This is not for my my this is not for dishonesty or for some dishonest gain. That's not what this is about. I'm doing this because I'm doing this to be obedient for to our Heavenly Father and to and to eagerly come to you and bring deliver this message to you because uh, with the hopes that you get saved and you and you don't and you take heed to the warning and you don't fall for this for the deception. And and I'm gonna continue reading. So I'm going to start again from verse two. Shepherd the flock of God, which is among you, serving the over serving as overseers, not by compulsion, but willingly, not for dishonest gain, but eagerly, 
nor as being lords over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the sheep and the, when the ch- chief shepherd, chief shepherd, as in Jesus Christ, amen, appears, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. Likewise, you younger people, submit, submit yourself to elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility for God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves and under my, under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. But may the God of all grace who called us for his eternal glory by Jesus Christ after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, it's important that we humble ourselves to each other because just so that you know, humility comes before honor and pride comes before the fall so we must submit to one another because this is how we will also um, therefore we will submit we will be able to submit ourselves to god that he may exalt us in due time amen amen so the and the other chapter you can read this on your own you'll you can always go to also go to james chapter 4 of verse 4 that also that's another area i mentioned earlier where god says um god resists the proud and gives grace to the humble so that verbiage that word that word of god his holy scriptures you can go to that um chapter and that it, that again is james chapter 4 verse 4 you will find the scripture that talks about where god says he resists he resists the proud and gives grace to the humble amen amen so the other scriptures I wanted to share with you is, I'm going to go to, whew, and I put a star on this one, Mark. So, what actually, let me start at Matthew. I'm going to start Matthew because I'm kind of, I want to do this in order. So, Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, we'll start at verse 13. So Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 says, and I've shared this with you already. It says, this is just scripture backing up what I'm saying. Verse Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 says, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many that go in by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. So when I'm I'm reading this verse, because going back to Dory Love, you by their fruits, you will know them. You will know Dory Love by the the devil horns he's throwing up, throwing up and his partner, um, JP, you'll know, you'll know JP by, by, by his fruits, by the, the 66 signs he's throwing up you'll know devil you'll know dory love by his fruits by the the evilness that's coming within his heart within him that's showing within on his on his face when he speaks about our about about the lord almighty when he talks about jesus christ you will see that on his face you will see that coming out that the evilness that's actually within his heart so it's because he doesn't actually love the true the the messiah 
the true Jesus Christ. That's not who he has love for. He's preaching a different Jesus. He's preaching a, a false Jesus. And, and, and I'm going to read you some scripture to back up, back that up to you too, regarding that. So verse, um, verse 19, I will read um, again, Matthew chapter seven, verse 19 says, every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and and thrown into the fire therefore their fruits will therefore by their fruits you will know them not everyone who says to who says to me lord lord shall enter the kingdom of god but he who does the will of my father in heaven many will say to me in that day lord lord have we not prophesied in your name cast out demons in your name and done many wonders in your name and then i will declare to them I never knew you depart from me who practice lawlessness. And I'm going to stop right there. So now I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. And I'm going to read Matthew chapter 24, verse 24 through 27. 20, verse 24 says, for false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. Therefore, if they say to you, look, he is in, this, in, this de in the desert, do not go out. Or look, he is in, in, in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will the son of man be. I'm reading this to you because it's important that you turn away right now from Dory Love. And I'm saying this because you, you don't, you, the scripture is literally, you're going to get to that point where you're going to get even more deceived. And the more you get yourself involved when you're dealing with a, a, a false preacher, he, call, he calls himself a preacher. He's the He's not for our Heavenly Father. He preaches a different Jesus. And when it's a different Jesus, he's actually, this is, a, this, this is of the devil himself. I, I, I won't sugarcoat it. This is of the devil. This is not of our good Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our King of King of and Lord of Lords. Amen. Our, our King, our, he, he is faithful and true. He is faithful and true. The, the, the Holy One. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So when Jesus comes back a second time, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. And this goes for you, Dory, love. I say this in truth and love because your knee will be bowed. You will be humbled on the day that Jesus Christ does come back a second time. You will be humbled. You will be, you will be brought down to your knees and you will confess that he is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. That's why you must repent, repent, repent. You and JP must repent. Repent, Dory Love, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Now I'm going to go to Mark chapter 7, verse 14. So Mark chapter 7, verse 14. I'm going to start reading. When he had called all the multitude to himself, he said to them, Hear me, everyone, and understand. There is nothing that there is nothing that enters a man from outside which can defile him, but the things which comes out of him, there those are the things that defile a man. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. When he had entered a house away from the crowd, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. So he said to them, and then Jesus is speaking again in verse 18, and, and it's in red. So Jesus is saying, are you thus without understanding also? Do you not perceive that, that whatever enters a man from outside cannot defile him because it does not enter his heart, but his stomach and is eliminated, thus purifying all foods? So right there, Jesus is saying, whatever like you 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 receive within your mouth as and what you're eating does not this does not defile um, 
it does it doesn't enter your heart it only it enters your stomach because that's what you're eating and and you can eliminate it you can you know don't want to go into detail if you know what i mean by that it can be eliminated thus you're purifying all foods and in verse 20 he's and jesus says and he said what comes out of a man does what comes out of a man that defiles a man for from within out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts adulteries fornications murders thefts covetousness wickedness deceit lewdness and evil eye blasphemy pride foolishness all these evil things come from within and defile a, ma a, a man so the things these are the things i just mentioned to you those those are the things that actually de defile a man because they're coming from within like from his heart and verse 21 says from within out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts and then i just had explained that to you so that the the things i wanted to really play dive home in regarding these verses i read uh, pertaining to dory love is he definitely there's proceeding out of him is is one of evil thoughts because if you have evil thoughts what it was it's going to show in 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 your in your your behaviors and your mannerisms and your expressions and how you speak um and then also wickedness it be, it's you know when it it all ties in with evilness there's you you, ha you have a wicked evil spirit within you because that's showing it this very wicked very wicked for you to do the these these devil horns that you're doing when you're when you're speaking of our of our good lord and savior jesus christ and when you're speaking about our heavenly father you 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 dare to mock our heavenly father in jesus christ this is you're gonna gonna have to give account for us this is why you have to repent so this is very wicked and deceit also verse 22 says deceit it's very you're you're you have deceit in your heart to do these things and and blasphemy also is in verse 22 it's your it's a it's a blast you're blaspheming our heavenly father in jesus christ by by mocking him and throwing up those horns because when you're doing those things you know you're in you're purposely intentionally doing them to mock our heavenly father in jesus christ and that evil spirit within you is showing within is coming from your heart and showing out in your face and and those that are able to discern spirits with humility as i, I mentioned i can discern spirits i can see it and there's others that have made mention in in your comments that that they see these things too there's a, at least one person i know for sure has made a comment and when i saw that i was like heavenly father with humility i was thanking my heavenly father that that they are there they are they are it it only takes one to to warn and 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 with the hopes that people get saved it it takes one to bring to shed the to shed light in the darkness it just takes that one person and i'm blessed that that edified me so I thank you to those of you that have have caught that caught on to that as well. And pride, Dory, love you. You clearly have a lot of pride in your heart. It was showing in this video again. That's titled the title Allah's life doesn't matter. I, I you there was plenty of times you you wouldn't allow. You were very very angry, and this is not this is not a fruit of the spirit. One of the fruits of the spirit is self control, and other another fruit of the spirit is is gentleness kindness is, is love these are these are these are all parts of the fruit of the spirit and you were not embodying this in the video now look we all make mistakes but in this video it was showing the devil working within you this 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 was different this isn't just that oh it's just a uh dory love having just one of those one-off bad days no this was there was this was the the devil the devil working through you here and that's why I'm making mention in this video that the the way you looked your the the spirit within you was not of our it's not of our heavenly father this is not the image of Je of jesus christ it is not the image of jesus christ and this is not the holy spirit working with you working within you and i say that in boldness and confidence and in truth and in love and because i love you again you must repent you must repent immediately humble yourself before our heavenly father submit yourself to our heavenly father in jesus name amen 
So the other one I want to go to is, um, and and backing up with with, with being prideful, um, Heavenly Father Jesus Christ bringing this to my attention again. It comes to the pride. It's you when you have a a lot of knowledge. You, it's fair. You have to be very careful with your the, your delivery and 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 one of the other fruits of the spirit is patience thank you heavenly father jesus christ one of the other fr fruits of the spirit is patience and again in this video you you were not embodying that there was a lot of impatient impatience i mean it, it, i just saw a lot a lot of pride in this video this was your what you're doing is not for our heavenly father you're doing this to to you're doing this for yourself it's not it's not for our heavenly father and and i and i'm just saying this in in truth and love you, the you're 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 actually serving you're wanting to serve your belly not not our heavenly father and it brings me to a scripture in god's word that says and and and, and this you'll find in in romans as well where where one of the disciples was speaking and he said my my brethren but beware of those who cause divisions and offenses crunch, crunch, contrary to God's word, and which you have learned, and avoid them. For they, they, they do not serve our Lord Jesus Christ, but, rap, but serve their bellies. With smooth words and flattering speech, they, de they deceive the hearts of the simple. And you're deceiving the hearts of the simple because you know what you're doing. You have a lot of pride in your heart. This is why you're you're a lover of, of yourself, not a lover of God. You've got to humble yourself to our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen. So now I want to go to 2 Corinthians. Bear with me. Here we go. So 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1 through 4, I'm going to read. And in my Bible, it's titled, The Danger of Being Deceived. So verse 1 starts, Oh, that you would bear with me a little folly, and indeed you bear with me, for I am, a, I am jealous for you with godly jealousy. For I have betrothed you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear, at least somehow, as the serpent deceived Eve, Eve by his craftiness, so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he who comes preaches another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive a different spirit, which you have not received, or a different gospel, which you have not accepted, you may well put up with it. Oh, bless our Lord, good Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And thank you, Heavenly Father Jesus Christ. I'm going to read this verse to you again. Verse 4 says, For if he who comes preaches another Jesus, who have not who we have not preached or if you have not received which you have not received again my apologies i'm going to read that again verse 4 says if he who comes preaches another jesus whom we have not preached or if you receive a different spirit which you have not received or a different gospel which you have not accepted may you may well put up with it so you you, you and then this is what I was mentioning earlier, where if you continue to follow a, a false preacher, false teacher, false prophet, anyone that you know that has it, it is not of the spirit of of what you have received that you, that was given to you of the Holy Spirit. If they're preaching, if you're if you're being preached a different Jesus, which I've told you, Dory Love is preaching a different Jesus. And you're receiving a different spirit, which is not the spirit of the Holy Spirit. And that is what I'm coming to you with urgency and warning you that Dory Love is of a different spirit. And it's, it's, it's the spirit of, of the devil. It's not of the Holy Spirit. In verse 4, the last sentence says, you may well put up with it. Meaning you're, you may as well just put up, you're, you'll just end up just putting up with it. In your mind, you'll, you're going to be deceived. 
you're just you're going to continue being deceived because you're in your this is this is what the devil does with his craftiness he's very crafty in what he's he does and that's exactly what he did with eve with eve when he dece deceived her in the garden verse back to verse three it says but i fear least somehow the serpent deceived eve by his craft craftiness so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in christ amen amen so i wanted to read that one for you for you just to share with you that you must be extremely careful with the with the danger of being deceived it's there's a huge deception out there and the devil knows how to be very crafty he's he, he it's not gonna he's not gonna make it obvious he knows he's got it he knows different ways of, of of knowing how to trick trick those that don't know that can get easily deceived or even if even if it's possible that the elect themselves can be deceived so it's just it, anyone can be deceived but in order for you to 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 keep yourself within god within god's will you must have that personal relationship with our heavenly father being god's word it's it's you've got to make god's word part of your life and you follow Jesus. You all you follow Jesus. You must obviously you've got to repent of your sins. Be you must be holy, obedient, and and righteous, following God's commandments, His statutes, and judgments. You must be born again to inherit the kingdom of God. We must be born again, and that you will also find in God's word. And then I'm gonna go to Second Corinthians again and that's um so, so i'm going again i'm in still in second corinthians chapter 11 going to verse 12 to 15 so starting in verse 12 it says what would i do i will also continue to what i'll oh, start again my apologies but what i do i will continue to do that i may cut off the opportunity from those who desire an opportunity to be regarded just as we are in the things of which they boast for such are false deceitful or such are false apostles deceitful workers transforming themselves into apostles of christ i'm going to read verse 13 again for such are false apostles deceitful workers so this is pertaining to dory as being a deceitful worker transforming themselves into apostles of christ and no wonder for satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. So, since, as I've shared with you, the devil's working, working within Dory Love, and he, and he transforms his ministers. So he's using Dory to make him look like a minister of righteousness, but he's really just a minister of unrighteousness. He's 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 a child of disobedience. His father is of the devil, so he is, he is not of Jesus Christ. He is not of, of Jehovah, our, our heavenly Father. He is not a follower of Christ. He's actually a deceitful worker. That and I wanted to share that scripture with you too. The other thing I wanted to mention um, too was, you know, I bothered i was very I, I i just what my spirit was bothered about the bracelets my, my you know in my in my spirit my spirit is saying those those bracelets so pertaining to the bracelets that dory love is sending out to people again this is just a, another tactic of the devil a crafty way a, a, the craftiness of the devil he's going to get you comfortable with him so the dory loves is not sending you those bracelets as a way to say oh show your love for our, our heavenly father and for jesus christ no it's 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 not about that it's because because he's he's prideful it's he's doing it this for him it's 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 because of his pride he's he's very he's very prideful he um he's got a um a puffed up heart his heart is hardened he's he's doing it for himself not for for, for the love of god he's doing this for himself because you're gonna get the bracelets you're gonna put it on and it's gonna remind you of dory love that's what is in his heart it's about him it's not about jesus so i'm i'm just sharing saying that to you as a warning that um, that just take heed to this warning that you you be careful you be very very careful 
where we are to examine every spirit. As you know, you've heard by now, any any child of God will say, you, you everything I'm telling you right now, I hope you've already thought that you're going to take all this to our Heavenly Father because He's going to reveal to you, and this is, you're coming to Him with a contrite heart, with with, with sincerity, with you want Him to reveal the truth of, of, of Dory Love to you. He will show you who Dory Love is right now. Unless Dory Love's repent of all this and comes to the truth of our Heavenly Father in Jesus Christ and submits Himself to our Heavenly Father, his his hand his end will be according to his works and his hand what will await him will be the lake of fire that's what that's what that's where his hand end will be would be will be hell that's where his end will be if he does not repent repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of his sins so he can receive the beautiful gift of the holy spirit Again, Dory Love, you must repent. For today is the day of salvation. You must repent because, again, God is, you're going to have to give account of this. Now, I, I, now I'm, I'm washed of this. I'm, they're, they're the people that are, for, are falling right now, their blood is going to be on your hands if you continue into deceiving them and leading, purposely, continuously leading them from away from our Heavenly Father. Please, with truth and love, Dory, with, uh, with urgency, is that you repent and come back to your first love. And your first, our first love is Jesus Christ, our good Lord and Savior, our King of kings and Lord of lords, the faithful and true, the Word of God, the one for, or for Jesus Christ that says, I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, who, who is and who was and who is to come. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Love and the Lord of Lords. With truth and love again, Dory, love you very much. Please repent of these and, and, and repent of all of it. And, and same thing goes for JP. Please repent and and turn away and and keep and be sure that you do this as soon as possible because you're leading many astray. You're leading them away from our Heavenly Father. You're leading them away from Jesus Christ. You're leading them to the lake of fire. For in for in Proverbs, thank you, Heavenly Father Jesus Christ. The children of God, God we are called to hold people back from their debts and keep them from stumbling to the slaughter. That's what the children of God are called to do. And that is why I'm here. I'm here to with the to hold people back from their debts and keep them from stumbling to the slaughter. That is what we're called to do. And you're not doing that for the sheep. You're leading them astray. You're, lead, you, you're, you're wanting to lead them to hell. And this is not good. It's the lake of fire that awaits you. And this is going to be a, a, and the judgment that will be upon you will be very severe if you don't repent immediately, Dory. Dory, love with truth and love again. I love you dearly. I love you dearly to tell you the truth, to tell you the truth to repent. Because the King of Kings is coming. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. For, for the 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 wicked the the wicked are the ones that are going to wait at the gates. The evil will bow before the good, and the evil at the gates of the righteous. In Jesus' name, Amen. And I'm going to stop right there. Well, I pray that this this uh, edifies the body of Christ, and I I, I pray that this. Well, just to those of you that are that have not been saved yet, I pray that you, you that you you actually just do this research yourself, that you you take heed to this warning, that you just don't look at this as some other video, that you truly take heed of, to this warning because I am a child of God and our Heavenly Father with humility, I say that I'm a child of God and the Holy Spirit has it has has urged me to come and deliver this message to you to warn you about Dory Love. And I pray that you take heed to this warning.
May God be with you all. Have a blessed and wonderful evening. In Jesus' name, amen.